Big Lagoon State Park, a tiny fragment of wilderness surrounded by cities. If you were to climb the tower at the beach in this state park and look either east or west, you would see skyscrapers lining the horizon. Despite being so crowded, wildlife still manages to find a home in these parks. I would like to take you to this isolated piece of wilderness and discuss how species are coping with having their habitat split by human development. Shrinking fragmented habitat is a huge problem for wildlife. In this short video clip, I would like to show you some of the struggles that wildlife has to endure to survive along the Florida coast, where habitat is becoming smaller and more separated all the time. These tiny patches of habitat in Florida are often crisscrossed by roads, and this is quite a hazard for little box turtles like these guys. Small reptiles attempting to get from one part of their territory to the other are confronted by this massive swath of open space, and they could get hit by a vehicle. Sometimes populations of box turtles or tortoises or other small animals find themselves restricted. They're cornered in their own little habitat. They can't move from one habitat to the next. They're stuck where they're at. This is a serious problem, genetically speaking, because if a population isn't able to spread its genes and accept new genes from other populations, it'll become so restricted and the mutations will compound upon each other that that particular population could become extinct. One possible solution to habitat fragmentation is wildlife corridors by building bridges over roads or even tunnels underneath them. Little box turtles like this can get from one part of their territory to the other without having an encounter with a vehicle. Thankfully, this little turtle was released back into the wild from whence he came, but not all reptiles are so fortunate. Some reptiles aren't so lucky when they try to get across a road. This uh, young racer here was trying to get across when he got hit by a vehicle. Now, it was just the tip of his tail, so he's pretty lucky. But uh, when I came by, he seemed all right, picked him up off the road, and uh, he's a little grumpy, which is understandable. But, I mean, considering somebody just tried to run him over, he's in a really good mood. Or so I thought. When it came to release the little snake, he surprised me. Adios, muchacho, ouch. <laughs> there are a lot of small animals that are affected by roads in negative ways, but what about larger animals? Birds, like this great blue heron standing behind me, are not as directly affected by habitat fragmentation as small reptiles and amphibians are. Birds can fly great distances looking for suitable habitat. Reptiles and amphibians don't have that luxury. So what can you do to help wildlife in your area? Although you can certainly encourage your local government to create wildlife quarters for wildlife in your area, another great way to help is to turn your yard into its own wildlife corridor. By planting native plants, and installing a water source or food source for wildlife, you can provide a home for many different species and help limit the amount of discontinuity that is occurring between habitats.